Prime News on HLN will continue our conversation on the search for eight-year-old Sandra Cantu, missing since Friday. Uh, let's bring in Eric Furpo, uh, city editor for the Tracy Free Press. Been following this one since day one. Uh, Eric, uh, you'd mentioned it. Let's talk about the two persons of interest. Do we have names yet, Eric? No, we don't have names. But we do know that uh, they searched the home of a uh, martial arts instructor who lives in the mobile home park. They searched his business. His name is Frank Waller. He's 60. He's had a martial arts business here since 92. But, you know, we, police aren't saying who is or who isn't a person of interest. But he's a possibility since, you know, they searched his home and business. Right. And he's um, another... He just so, just yeah. so get our viewers caught up, he's the guy who admitted to kissing uh, little Sandra on the lips, and this was a couple years ago when she was six. Uh, obviously, uh, the creep factor up on that, but he fielded questions with a reporter about it. We had that on uh, for you yesterday. Eric, go ahead. The other yeah, person of interest? Okay. Well, we don't know if the other person is a person of interest, but we do know that one guy was arrested as they searched his mobile home on uh, Monday, and he got mouthy with police, and... Uh, and he's a guy who's um, he's got a, he's had a couple of restraining orders against him in the past, including okay. one by his parents, you know, who uh, have a mobile home in the park, and they were afraid his behavior was going to get him evicted, so they actually got a okay. restraining order against him. And so did another woman who lived in the park, and who said he was just very violent and uh, verbally abusive. And one of the restraining orders, uh, you know, claims he's an alcoholic and a drug user. So. Wow. Michelle, so anything? That Michelle, anything to add as you've talked to investigators uh, on these persons of interest or any evidence they found through their searches? Absolutely. Well, there, you know, just one thing that the, the one gentleman who was arrested was actually intoxicated and was not cooperating, and that is why they, they arrested him and took him in. You know, as far as the other two possible people of interest that they are looking into at this time, they are uh, two, two men who actually live within the community uh, that they are still questioning and looking into. Again, they're not going on the record and saying that anyone is a suspect at this point, uh, that there is any more information, but they are just keeping the focus right now on little Sandra. You can see her there up on your screen. She is beautiful. Uh, and also what investigators say is that she just had such an outgoing, friendly mm. personality yeah. and that, you know, she really just, uh, you know, was very open and very, yeah. uh, very well seen within the community. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, Michelle. Good talking to you. Good talking uh, Eric, to uh, Angie, our prayers are with you. Thank you again as well. More we'll Love to shop for